weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, we did see that strong cold front continuing to push across our area, and that's what's dropped our temperatures significantly. We are 22 degrees colder now than we were 24 hours ago, and that's just going to continue to drop for us. The wind speeds, we're also dealing with these strong north winds, 25 miles per hour here, gusting upwards of 30 miles per hour right now, and will continue upwards of 40 mile per hour wind gusts, and that's going to pretty much stick around with us until later this evening and early hours tomorrow. Current temperatures right now, you can start to see where this cold front's pretty much lingering, continuing to push further towards the south. Some areas still feeling more like those 50s, while here in Tulsa we're feeling like those 30s, 32 Coffeeville, 33 in Bartlesville. Unfortunately, we did reach that high earlier hours this morning, so now temperature is just going to continue to tumble down into those teens by later this evening. Highs tomorrow, though, not looking too good for us. 27 as that high in Tulsa, and again, that high is going to happen earlier hours, and we're just going to continue to feel more like those single digits as we continue to track out those wind chills. Right now, though, we are staying fairly dry here in Tulsa, seeing those cloudy conditions and some areas further towards the east dealing with some of that light precipitation, some drizzle for us, but we are still above freezing with those temperatures, so not too much in terms of that um, snow accumulations or anything that could continue to uh, continue to pass on further towards the east. So light wintry mix will be possible today as these temperatures continue to drop below freezy, freezing. We will start to see that light chance to see some sleet here in our areas and especially in those elevated surfaces. So travel impacts could continue further towards the east and south of I-44. There is a winter weather advisory set for Northwest Arkansas. So they will be dealing more with that snow. And then here in Tulsa, here in our area, we're going to be dealing a lot with these wind chills for us. So later tonight, quickly dropping into those teens for us. Some areas feeling more like those single digits. And then Thursday morning, we're going to wake up and it's going to feel like single digits, low single digits. Some areas could feel more like the zeros, possibly even those negatives, just continuing on th further for tomorrow. Right now though, this cold front still lingering on, hanging around, giving us that light precipitation right now. Some areas seeing that freezing rain, and this could continue to mix in with some of that snow, but like I mentioned, most of that is going to stick further towards northwest Arkansas, and then eventually it will dry us out for Thursday, starting to see those little peaks of sunshine here and there, pretty much throughout the remainder of tomorrow. For this evening though, gusty conditions, temperatures in those 20s, yet wind chills feeling more like those teens. So very nice evening to stay indoors. And also for tomorrow, if you can, still dealing with those strong north winds, we'll be in those 20s, but eventually we'll see a nice warm up by the weekend.